Neanderthals were a tough species that evolved in Europe 300,000 years ago and survived several ice ages before disappearing around 40,000 years ago. They used dangerous close-range hunting techniques, including thrusting spears, which brought them into violent contact with large mammals. But despite the common misconception that our evolutionary cousins were thick-browed thugs, scientists have discovered that they buried their dead and cared for their wounded, among other intelligent behaviours. One of science's most perplexing mysteries, new findings indicate the Neanderthal's extinction could have simply been a result of bad luck, along with frequent inbreeding and cannibalism. According to researchers, the first high-quality genome sequence from a Neanderthal woman has revealed many dark secrets, including the existence of a mysterious ancient human lineage and the genetic changes that separate modern humans from their closest extinct relatives. In fact, the genetic analysis revealed that the Siberian toe bone belonged to a highly inbred Neanderthal woman. When compared to other Neanderthal mitochondrial DNA samples, this fossil's closest known relatives are Neanderthals discovered in a cave in the Caucasus Mountains, approximately 2,000 miles away. That's over 3,000 kilos for our metric-using listeners. Indeed, the toe bone of the Neanderthal woman suggests that inbreeding was common among her recent ancestors, as her parents were very close kin. Shockingly, the genetic analysis revealed that the woman's parents were likely to be very close relatives, such as half-siblings, an uncle and niece, an aunt and nephew, a grandfather and granddaughter, or a grandmother and grandson. Inbreeding between close relatives appears to have been common among the woman's recent ancestors. However, it is unclear whether inbreeding was a just local custom among these Neanderthals, or if it was unavoidable, due to the small number of Neanderthals that appear to have lived in this area. Though sometimes thought of as dumb brutes, another study suggests that the extinction of Neanderthals was caused by a combination of inbreeding and small population size. As discussed, the extinction of Neanderthals around 40,000 years ago has long been a mystery in paleoanthropological research. There is widespread agreement that their extinction coincided with anatomically modern human migrations into the Near East and Europe, beginning 50,000 years ago. What is unknown, though, are the causes of Neanderthal extinction. According to new research, inbreeding, small populations, and random demographic fluctuations all contributed to the extinction of Neanderthals. For example, investigators used population modeling to investigate whether Neanderthal populations could have vanished in the absence of external factors, such as competition from anatomically modern humans. Using data from extant hunter-gatherer populations as parameters, the scientists created population models for simulated Neanderthal populations of various sizes. They then simulated for their model populations the effects of inbreeding, Ali effects, in which reduced population size reduces individual fitness and annual random demographic fluctuations in births, deaths and sex ratios to see if these factors could cause an extinction event over a 10,000 year period. The population models show that inbreeding alone was unlikely to result in extinction. This only happened in the smallest model population but reproduction-related alley effects, in which 25% or fewer Neanderthal females gave birth in a given year, as is common in modern hunter-gatherers, could have resulted in extinction in populations of up to 1,000 individuals. These alley effects, combined with demographic fluctuations and inbreeding, could have resulted in extinction across all population sizes modeled within the 10,000-year time frame. The population models are limited by their parameters, which are based on modern human hunter-gatherers and do not account for the alley effect on survival rates. It's also possible that modern humans had an impact on Neanderthal populations that reinforced inbreeding and alley effects, but the models don't account for this. Nevertheless, by showing demographic issues alone could have led to Neanderthal extinction, these models may serve as a null hypothesis for future competing theories, including the impact of modern humans on Neanderthals according to the scientists. For years, people have tried to hide away from the evidence of cannibalism, but we have to accept it took place. 
Neanderthals were skilled hunters who used wooden spears to take down deer, goats, and possibly woolly rhinos. Following the kill, they expertly butchered the carcasses, slicing meat and tendons from bone with stone tools and bashing open long bones to extract the fatty marrow inside. Now, anthropologists report in science that Neanderthals from 100,000 years ago also frequently butchered some of their own kind. Marks on bones clearly show that early humans filleted the chewing muscles from the heads of two young Neanderthals, sliced out at least one's tongue, and smashed the leg bone of a large adult to get at the marrow. The bone fragments were apparently dumped alongside the carcasses of deer and other butchered mammals. Neanderthal and mammal remains were treated very similarly, so we can safely infer that both species were exploited for culinary purposes. Investigators began to focus on cannibalism after discovering cut marks on human bones from a test pit sunk into a cave in Moulaguerci in France, a site that had previously yielded stone tools typical of the Neanderthal's Mousterian culture. They collaborated to rigorously compare the pattern of marks on human bones to those on red deer bones, which were presumably hunted for meat at the same location. The bones, including 78 pieces identified as belonging to at least six Neanderthals and nearly 400 fragments attributed to other mammals, were scattered across 20 square meters. The brain cases and long bones of both deer and humans were smashed open, presumably to extract brains and marrow. According to investigators, the bones show little evidence of burning or roasting, implying that despite having fire, the Neanderthals ate this flesh raw or hacked it off the bone before cooking. But scientists are not claiming that all Neanderthals were cannibals, rather, that there were some cannibals among the Neanderthals. Cannibalism does not appear to have been a common practice among Neanderthals, but evidence from various sites across Europe suggests that it did exist among these ancient humans, and similar cases are likely to be discovered in the future. Another cave in northeastern Spain has yielded evidence of cannibalism among Neanderthals. Researchers announced the discovery of Neanderthal remains dating back to around 52,000 years ago. Archaeological excavations revealed fragments of a juvenile, almost adult, Neanderthal skull. Two pieces of the individual's rear skull are among the remains. The juvenile's bones are the fourth individual identified by researchers at the site since the first Neanderthal remains were discovered. Researchers have identified previously discovered bone remains at the site as belonging to a child between the ages of six to seven years old, another juvenile over the age of eleven, and an elderly individual. All of these remains, including the newly discovered juvenile, have been dated to just over 52,000 years old. The remains were scattered across the same surface at the cave's entrance, mixed in with bones and teeth from other animals hunted by Neanderthals. Initially, researchers had difficulty determining why there were Neanderthal remains in the cave. Nevertheless, recent investigations have revealed cut marks on the surface of a clavicle bone, or collarbone, previously discovered at the cave site. The researchers concluded that these marks, as well as other cave evidence, were the result of cannibalism-related activities. According to the researchers, the cut marks in the cave remains indicate that the bones were processed by other Neanderthals and were most likely consumed by their kin. In addition to being mixed with animal bones, the human remains discovered at the cave site are highly fragmented, supporting the cannibalism hypothesis. The fact that the human remains are broken up into small pieces may indicate that Neanderthals attempted to access the marrow and other nutrients contained within the bones, according to researchers. The most recent findings are not the first evidence of cannibalism among Neanderthals, but they are the first documented case in Spain. Most of the bones at the cave site are fragmented, making it difficult for researchers to distinguish them from those of other animals, especially in the case of child remains. As a result, the research team is now employing specialized biomolecular techniques to identify additional remains at the site. In fact, the disappearance of the Neanderthals may have been resolved, according to a prominent French fossil expert who claims that modern humans ate them. The controversial suggestion follows the publication of a study in the Journal of Anthropological Sciences about a Neanderthal jawbone that appears to have been butchered by modern humans. 
The research team's leader now believes the flesh was eaten by humans and the teeth may have been used to make a necklace. The researchers believe the jawbone was most likely cut to remove flesh, including the tongue. Crucially, the butchery was similar to how humans cut up deer carcasses during the early Stone Age. Neanderthals met a violent end at our hands, and in some cases we ate them, according to the report. According to the French researchers, the discovery at Les Rois in southwest France provides compelling evidence for that claim. Previous excavations revealed bones believed to be exclusively modern human. However, researchers re-examined them and discovered one that they determined was Neanderthal. It was also covered in cut marks, similar to those left behind when flesh is removed from deer and other animals with stone tools. In fact, the jawbone may be important evidence that humans attacked and sometimes killed Neanderthals, then brought their bodies back to caves to eat or use their skulls or teeth as trophies. Nonetheless, not everyone agrees because one set of cut marks does not make a complete case for cannibalism. It was also possible that humans discovered the jawbone and used its teeth to make a necklace. This is a very important investigation. We need more evidence, but this could indicate that modern humans and Neanderthals coexisted in Europe at the same time, interacted, and some of these interactions were hostile. This does not prove that we systematically eradicated Neanderthals or ate their flesh on a regular basis. Initially, scientists believed that Neanderthals were incapable of complex thought and only engaged in barbaric living. When you see some Neanderthals practicing intentional burial and others practicing cannibalism, that is a clear indication of behavior that is multidimensional, a pattern that mirrors the behavior of more modern humans. Neanderthals did in fact bury their dead in semicircular graves with bodies arranged in fetal position. Far from implying that Neanderthals were brutes, some believe the discovery may indicate some degree of sophistication. Nevertheless, this information adds to the evidence that Neanderthal extinction was most likely caused by modern human competition. Some researchers believe Neanderthals either failed to compete effectively with Homo sapiens for resources or were more vulnerable to the effects of environmental change. Others believe our interactions were violent and fatal for the Neanderthals. Scientists who believe Neanderthals disappeared for non-conflict reasons will strongly oppose the idea.